everyone, my name is Drea Marie, and today we will be doing a bright blue cat eye tutorial. So the first thing we do is we put these on. This is just so the hair does not get in your face. So you know how irritating that can be. Okay, let's do this. So the first thing you do before anything, you pry. Put the hydrate pores, hydrating primer. This one is from Benefit. I actually received this from BoxyCharm. Actually, most of my makeup is from BoxyCharm. I've had it for over a year, so everything I use is from them. So this, I just basically spread it all over my face. Let's see. Just a little bit. It doesn't really have much color to it, but it's it's very creamy. It smells good too. Mm. Don't be afraid. Just smack it all over. What I like to do when I'm doing this is focus on the jawline. And I try to push all the liquids that usually your face like accumulates liquid. Um, so I like to push it towards the lymphatic nodes right behind your ear. And then from here, right over here, just to kind of make your face a little, I wouldn't say smaller, but yeah, smaller, especially right here. To accentuate the jawline that I don't have. Don't look at my nails. They're my quarantine nails. I haven't been able to go get my nails professionally done, and I'm still waiting for my Amazon kits I could do my nails at home because I cannot stand being with these nails. Now I like to do the eyes first because sometimes when you're like blending you know a little bit of the dust falls on your face. I hate that. So what I do is I grab this little brush And I dip a little bit into my Double Wear Estee Lauder in Tawny. There we go. And then I try to spread it towards the middle. I like putting it here in the middle because after you do the makeup, you can't really mess with it here in the middle. So I like to do just like, kind of like a makeup. Um, I like, I love this palette. It's my favorite. The Naked Urban Decay palette. I've had it forever. This is like my second palette already. So I like to use the color, it's a lighter brown, um, called Naked. This is just, just a, um, what do people on YouTube call it? Like a little bit of a I'll get back to you on that. Oh, a transition color. Okay, a transition color. It's just so when you put the actual color on, it just kind of like doesn't get all sticky and just clump up into one area. You're able to literally like blend it in good. So I found this old palette that I have from Amazon. I don't know the name. It just comes like this. It was on Amazon. So... I'm gonna you I'm gonna start with the baby blue and then go into the darker blue. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, that looks kind of weird. But let's go with it. Let's go with it. Why not? Oh, so I grabbed an, another um, shade, Moda Pro um, pencil. 
I think I got this on Amazon also. A lot of my stuff I get on Amazon. Sephora. And most of my makeup palettes are actually from BoxyCharm. I love BoxyCharm. They are awesome. So I'm going to be using pretty much the same shades. I'm going to go into the darker blue and start at the edge of your eye and just kind of work your way inward. Just blend as much as you can. A little more. Now I am going to darken this. It's not going to look this like crazy bright. Because I kind of want it to go into this type of blue. I don't have that type of blue. But I am. You can darken it. If you have a bright color. You can always darken it with. Another like. Either a black or a dark brown. You just kind of. Blend it in towards the end. And it will transform. Now. I'm going to go into the this one the naked urban decay and i'm gonna i found a dark dark blue here it has a little bit of sparkles so as you notice that one's a little bit darker it's called gunmetal so that's the one i'm going to use to darken this so it doesn't look so like bright and now i start as always on the edge Blending out. Try to move a little upwards. Ooh. I'll be looking like a chola. <coughs> Use this is from this is actually the one that came into in this naked um palette. Now I'm gonna go to a different palette. celestial thunder let's try this one out this one looks really pretty so this one is also um boxy charm it's celestial thunder dominique cosmetics i've never used this before but it looks really pretty look how beautiful those colors are pretty. i'm gonna go into eternal light and i'm just gonna go with the tip like this Let's say, let's say, let's say. Which one did I do? And I'm just gonna put right here on the lid. Just to kind of light it up a little bit. And give it a little sparkle. I love sparkle. Who doesn't love sparkles? And you just wanna lighten up the lid a little bit so that your eyes don't look so Cholita. I don't want to look like a chola. Actually, I do. I like this one. Just saying. I like it. I like it a lot. I usually have like here in front of me, I have um like a little pañuelito type of thing. A little rag or whatever. Hand towel, they call it. Just so I can, like, clean my brushes as I go. So here's the Naked palette again. I'm going to go into this one. This one is Sin. I like to use that one to go right here in the middle just to lighten it up. And then right here over the brow. Under the brow, I'm sorry. Under the brow. Just to kind of widen up the eye. I know right now it looks weird. It's okay. Just stay tuned. Alright, now we're going to do the brows. I use Brow Bar by... Rene? Rima? I think it's Rima. I don't know, the signature is really weird. So, Brow Bar. I use the dark brown. It's still 
I like my brows to look a little nat, like more towards the natural side, because still. I have a scar over here from a dog bite when I was young, so I just have to try it. This eyebrow is like the hardest. So all I do is I really just fill a little bit. Mm, I really do look like a chore though. The stuff I say. Oh my god, my my kittens are just running everywhere. Ivy, hi, mama. This is my baby Ivy, my little princess, my, my baby girl. Ah, she's a psycho. She's over there running around with her sister Chloe. Okay, now is when the makeup starts looking a little better. At least the eye part. Now I'm going to go with the eyeliner. Flash Cat Eye by Infallible L'Oreal Paris. This is one of my favorites. I used to use all of those like really... Ooh, I ruined it. I used to use one of those like Estee Lauder expensive brands, pencils, and it just did not work for me. So I stopped. No, I use this. I love this because it's really like thin and it's kind of like a liquid liner per se, but it's not the ones that you like dip in the thing. I've tried so many different liners throughout my life. Okay, let's go into it. Let's do this. Okay, let me do this in front of you just so you see how to apply it. So to apply the liner, you, you have to put your this finger right here to stabilize your hand so it doesn't like shake, you know, like, and it looks all like weird and shit. So you put your finger right here and then you start right here. And just slowly. I go fast because I've been doing this since I was like 11. No joke. Okay. Now you leave it right there. Now you start off right at, um, from the outside and start going inward. So, so it's really thin. There. Yes, bye. Now you start down here on the edge and you pull upwards to unite that line. Now you just fill, fill, fill that in. God, my face is so red. I, hate that. I always get these like red dots. And there you go. The perfect cut eye. No, you just come uh, layer. Now you grab the same hand and you go like this. On this side, I like to start from the outside inward. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but I love it. All right, let's get back to it. Now I start on this one on the outside. For some reason, it's just easier. So I just go inward and then I start down here and I unite. Now, if it's your first time, take your time. No rushing. I do it quite quick. <sighs> quack, no. I do it quickly because I've been doing, like I said, I've been doing this for so long that it's just easier for me. And now you're here to the middle, right? You've already filled it in. Now you start from inward outward to unite. So you just like this. And slowly. Here, um, since you don't have this finger to do the, you know, like to hold on, like on this one, you do this. 
not that much, but yeah, like that. Just to like stabilize your wrist. Do I like the eyeliner? Does it look okay? What is my eye twitching? Lord Jesus Christ. It needs to stop. No. I like a pretty thick line on top because that's where we're going to put the lashes. And you want it a little bit thicker so the glue kind of like blends in you know it doesn't look so the lash thingy doesn't look like bigger than your liner this also makes your eye bigger so it's okay to go a little bit longer it's okay it's okay here now we start with the foundation okay before we start with foundation i like to use the iconic london prep set glow thing it has like it's it, it just glows i don't know what's it called. It has like glitter stuff in it you just shook it up okay that we're gonna spray it now we're gonna spray it on on this sponge i kind of overdid it by ear can i get a beat can i get a beat can i get a beat I don't know why I do this shit. I'm so stupid. Alright. Now we go in with the same, you know, the Estee Lauder double wear. Three W. And you just put a little bit. You start at the top. You're just playing the shit out of me. Oh, I should be more professional. Okay, let's be more professional for just a second. You just gotta blend it, you know? Be all gentle with your face. Yeah, I can't do that. Ah. <gasps> Did I mess up my eyebrow? Yes, I did. Okay, so just keep blending. Now, I'm not very consistent when it comes to makeup. One day I do just foundation. Especially when it's like a daytime makeup. Because... Normally, when it's like a nighttime makeup, I makeup I like to put something for my ojeras, you know, my dark eyes. But right now, it's just a daytime makeup. I'm literally just going to my dad's later on, and I have homework to do, so I'm just gonna be chilling at home. But I'm gonna be looking cute. I need to buy some more of this. I gotta order this online because the rona has me miles away from my happy place the mall it sucks so i can't go buy my foundations my pie odors i gotta order everything online Keep on blending that foundation. 
foundation all over. Just. Now you grab this pencil and just brush. You go right here and you just kind of fix the edges. You can hear my cat my kittens they're just running around everywhere playing hopefully not making a mess okay we're done with foundation now i grabbed my other eyeliner which is the l'oreal paris also it's the same brand l'oreal but this is like that creamy pencil, you know, they just, and now I'm just going to kind of like, I don't know if you could see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going in the eye and then um, I, I try to like, you know, and then I just kind of blend it into the line. So it flows, you know, I connect it. You see how it just kind of pops, makes the eye pop, 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 pop. Okay, now this one, mm, bye yuck. You do the same, you just kind of go on your waterline, connect it to the middle, because you know we're trying to do that cat eye. And now you just connect it right here. Now, some people like to put a little bit of glue under here. I personally don't really like care for that, but for the sake of the tutorial, grab this tiny little thing. You go into that gunmetal one, and you just kind of. Oh, this is too small. No, 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 no this one right there gunmetal you just going to put a little tiny bit yeah. you see the difference this and this And you connect it right here. Down, 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 down. Now you do the same for the other side. Ooh, this kind of makes my eye look a little bigger, actually. I like it. I like it with the glue. Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. I got a little bit of the thing so when a little bit falls on your on your cheek you know you grab one of those like fluffy brushes and just like <gasps> okay it didn't work I got a line okay we good now, okay. now we're going to go in with this brush. What I like to do is I like to put setting powder. This is from MAC. But this is a setting powder that has color in it. So that's what I like to put under my eye. 
the same shade as my face. So I just put a little bit everywhere. Especially right here. It's just like putting a bomb, putting on a little bit of pepper. Now we go on with this brush. And I use my Park Avenue Princess Tarte. As you can see, I mix these two. So I just dab on a little bit of each. You know, chum, 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 chum. And I start right here. And I move my way up. You move your way up onto the cheek and onto your forehead and then down and then you do a three the darker color i like to put over here so i look so i could do the jawline because you know as we both know i don't have a neck basically so my step baby told me she's like oh, you don't have a neck Children can be so cruel sometimes without even knowing. They so cruel. They still love them. Okay. Now you go to the next one. You blend, blend, blend. I personally love my left side because it doesn't like it's not as botchy as this side. I, don't know. I just have this ball right here. I hate it. So my left side for some reason I always think it's better. You put some under the chin. I know you're checking me out. Okay. We are done with that. Now. Where is my brown? Remember the one that we used for the transitional color? You go into the princess cut one. This one right here. And you want to... Just do a little line on the outside and connect it in the middle, like this. And you connect it right here. That's just to make your nose a little smaller, you know. A little more delicate. Like a little bit. Now I'm going in with this like neutral pearl, mineral glow, glow, uh, glow pearls, I don't know, with this type of brush. Dun, 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 just to give a little color to those white cheeks. Ooh, too much. I also discovered this new Iconic London Illuminator Oxygen. So you literally just dot and dot. Ah! Now you just blend it. Move it upward. You just kind of blend it everywhere. That made my whole head. 
shadows look darker. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to put a little bit down your nose. That's it. Now for the good part. So I like to put on the mascara first, just to kind of push the lashes upward a little bit. Now I use the duo. And I'm gonna be using these. I don't know where I got these, but I've had them there for, for a hot minute. But I'm not exactly sure where they're from. I think also BoxyCharm. I, I tend to get all this stuff from BoxyCharm, so. Ah! Okay. I try to push it upward. Just so it looks a little more dramatic. I like the natural look, but I like that extra, like, mm. Which is like right between dramatic and natural. <laughs> Sorry, the cat came over me. So you don't want to go too in the mid. You want to go like a little above, and then you just stick it, stick it away in there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh you gotta be very delicate. It's okay if you stop breathing for a second. I do it all the time. When I'm doing this, I'm just... Oh, and then I breathe. Um, it's okay. We all do it at one time or another in our life. So now you just kind of like, once it's in its place, wait a second. Now you just kind of push it up. Push it up. You go back in and yeah. Yeah, you gotta darken up those lashes. Cause you wanna connect oh. You kinda just wanna connect your actual oh your actual lashes with oh, there we go again. You want to connect your actual lashes with the fakies, you know. Okay. There you go. Now the lip liner. I love using this brown one. It's from Appeal Gel Liner Deep Taupe Lonier Gel. That's what it says. I don't know what brand it is. It also boxy charm. Stop breathing for a second right here. Like earlier, you know.
you're gonna look like a chola regardless in the beginning but then you just kind of blend it inward you grab your finger and you, you kind of blend it inward you know now that Anna You do, hey. Yeah. There we go. Now I'm going to use this lip gloss brilliant lover i've had this forever i don't it like everything came off already so i don't know it's like a light brown you know pinkish glossy and you just apply it in the middle Oh, y'all ready for the final results.